What's up, BeatStars family? It's Jamil. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an email signup form for your pro page, then give you some tips and tricks on how to maximize your signups. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is hover over the My Media tab in your account, then click on Pro Page Setup. From here, you can scroll down to the Contact List Builder subscription form. Then, you can choose to connect either your MailChimp or Aweber account. For this tutorial, I'm going to use my MailChimp account. Now we can choose what we want to appear as the headline text. This is what the sign-up form will say on it. You want to have a call to action here and give people a reason to sign up. People won't want to give you their email address unless you're offering real value to them. I'll give you a couple of examples of some good and bad options. First, let's do some good options. Receive 25% off your first purchase. This presents real value to your customers. People are willing to give you their email address if they're receiving a discount. Another good example you can use would be get three free beats. Free is a great buzzword that gets people's attention. If you're already offering free downloads on your account anyway, this is a great way to promote a product you already had in your store. You can set up an automation in your MailChimp account to send out an email when someone signs up and include the discount code you created in your BeatStars account, or send them links with the free beats. An example of a bad option would be sign up for my mailing list. While your mailing list might include a ton of value for your customer base, this message doesn't communicate any of that. Visitors won't know what kinds of emails they'll be receiving and won't want to sign up. After that, you can choose the type. The two options here are pop-up or homepage. With pop-up, when visitors load up your page, they'll get the sign-up form and can either enter the info or exit out to continue browsing your site. With homepage, the sign-up form will appear as a section in your homepage just like the licensing info section or services section. Our recommendation would be that if you're offering some type of discount for signups like I mentioned earlier, to use a pop-up form. That way, customers won't miss the info and will be more eager to make a purchase with their new coupon code. If you aren't offering anything for signup, it might be best to leave it on your homepage. That way customers can listen to your beats first and be presented with the option after. Because as I mentioned earlier, People won't want to sign up for an email list if there's no immediate return value and they don't know if they like your product yet. So after we've decided that, we can just hit save changes and we're done. Let's go check out our new sign up form. Here we are. Now visitors can enter their name, email address, and opt in to receive emails. And these will load directly into your MailChimp or Aweber account for your next marketing campaign. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos from BeatStars.